It happens. The last time I was in session with Law, uh, we were in the studio, and now my my mom is from Dundalk, Ireland. My father is from Southern Italy, uh, and the people of the Med all talk with their hands, and I was doing that while reading script, and Law said, let's try something different. I want you to put your hand in your pocket. And all of a sudden, all of this extra emotional energy had no place else to go except through the voice. And at that point, my worlds came together. What I realized is that now I have an undergrad degree in communication. I lecture in media ecology. I have a graduate degree in theology, spiritual practice, and I have a brother who is, uh, excuse me, I have a sister who is an actor in New York, has her MFA from NYU in theater performance. I have a brother who uh, has his MFA in screenwriting from the American Film Institute in Hollywood. And I remember the day in Vancouver, British Columbia, where I was in grad school and I decided not to pursue a career as an actor, as I'm talking with my hands there, um, and I chose instead to pursue the, uh, the career of a writer. But I was in a theology program uh, studying spirituality spirituality and inner healing. Both of these and media and culture, all in the same program. Great. Um, when Law told me, put your hand in your pocket, let it come out from your heart, from your gut, my worlds came together, and I realized that voiceover is acting. It is the art of listening, and then the art of speaking. And I realized that it's a spiritual practice based on the spoken word, and that here in the Northeast, we rush, we rush, we rush, we think, we think, we think, and everything down here gets cut off, and we only use it to bring us to our next appointment. All of a sudden, this moment of put your hands in your pocket, let your voice speak from your gut, I became one man, and I realized that that one man can have a very good career and make some coin being this one man. I like that.